Open your heart, it will help you attract more love. That was in the reverse. So somebody's heart was not open about something, possibly in the past, or there's a karmic who refuses to open up their heart. Intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So someone could be listening to their intuition and somebody is fighting against their intuition. I'm getting that somebody doesn't want to listen to their intuition. It's like they don't want to hear something. I'm just hearing, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear it. So someone is very closed off um, emotionally. Confession, or somebody was, okay? So somebody is in their karmic or somebody was, okay? So confession, someone has something to tell you. There's going to be a confession. So someone is listening to their intuition. Someone has a confession to make. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So someone has a confession to make about somebody trying to sabotage a union. Someone moving in together with someone else. Someone could have been in bad health. Health issues could arise in the reverse. So somebody may not have been open to something in the past, maybe because they were in bad health, you were in bad health, or someone um, that they know was in bad health, they could have been taking care of someone. Um, someone could have been struggling with mental health, physical health. Somebody could have been trying to help them. So somebody was not open to love at that time. <clears throat> But somebody could be opening up to their intuition. They could have a confession to make that the reason that they have not made a move towards their divine counterpart is because somebody else was standing in the way. And as a good natured person, if you're both divine and there's a, a divine union coming together, this person was um, trying to take care of someone or help somebody. Um, this could have even been a karmic that they were attached to that they were trying to help. Somebody could have been using emotionally manipulative tactics. Um, to try to control a person or a situation so that they couldn't move forward. But somebody was standing in the way of a union here. And it has to do with somebody's heart not being open because somebody was in bad health. But there was something shocking that happened. Possibly about somebody being calm, cool, collected. Um, somebody could have been shocked to find out why somebody was so um, emotionally balanced, mentally balanced. It's like if this is your divine counterpart and they compared you next to this person one person is very balanced very stable especially mentally emotionally physically and the other person is like the complete opposite of you someone was shocked to find out um about your balance while somebody else is so unbalanced but they may have been stuck in a situation because somebody was so unbalanced and they were trying to help this person out So somebody was trying to do the right thing, even if it was, you know, the wrong thing. So somebody was doing something with good intentions, but it turned out to be more of a hindrance than, you know, it wasn't, something was not to someone's benefit, okay? So someone was trying to help someone out, and it was actually holding them back by trying to help somebody, somebody that they were attached to. Somebody was playing games, somebody thought something was funny. So, while you're calm, cool, collected, somebody else was just playing games, you know? Like, somebody could have been immature <clears throat> while you're, you know, grown up, mentally, whatever. <laughs> somebody is still stuck in their childish ways, and that is someone that is trying to keep somebody stopped, stuck, from coming towards their divine counterpart by using manipulative tactics. Like I said, somebody was trying to be manipulative. I don't know if I should take these or not. Usually I only take them if they're flipped over. Um, okay, so, but I feel like these go along with what I've been reading, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. Coolness is a curse. Like I said, you're calm, cool, collected. I'm not lazy, I'm motivationally challenged. So, while you're calm, cool, collected, someone has an excuse for their behavior, somebody doesn't want to heal their childhood wounds, whatever, somebody doesn't want to grow up, somebody wants to stay stuck in their immaturity okay so you're you're cool you're chill you're fine but somebody has um an excuse for everything it's like okay it's like when you present a problem to somebody and they have every excuse as to why that's not going to work it's like you offer this person a solution but they don't want solutions they just want to keep coming up with more excuses as to why something is still a problem it's like you're on polar opposites of the spectrum here
and somebody was not protected, okay? So somebody doesn't have the protection they think they do. So say you're a spiritualist, right? You're a light worker. Um, this other person could be in a form of spirituality as well. But say they're into the darker aspect, like curses, hexes, you know, it's like if someone pisses them off, they jump right automatically to like spell work. Meanwhile, you're like love, light, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to let karma sort itself out. You turn things over to your ancestors. You let the spiritual realm deal with it because you know um, the natural laws, the spiritual laws, you understand and respect them. Meanwhile, this person is someone who would try to take things into their own hands. And so because they're on the darker side of things, they may have assumed that they were protected by a deity or a spirit or ancestor, but they did not have some sort of protection. Somebody is happy keeping somebody trapped in a shitty situation, you know, with this litter box, but someone's not happy. So there is a situation, somebody thought that they were protected, um... In this situation that they could keep someone stuck in the situation but someone is realizing they're not happy they don't want to be stuck in this they don't want to be you know attached to this person anymore it's like they tried to help him and they've done all they could do to, to help this person but they don't want to be helped somebody just does not want to be helped somebody does not want to heal and someone is realizing this because as your divine counterpart whoever you are in the upright i read for the divine feminine the divine masculine your divine counterpart wants to ascend. They want to be a better person. You know, they're inspired to make themselves better, to better themselves. And they're starting to realize that this person just wants to, to stay stuck on these low vibrations. And they may not even realize what is going on as far as the spiritual aspect of it. But they know that something isn't right. They're, they're starting to listen to that intuition, that nagging voice that they've been ignoring for so long and they're realizing they're really not happy and they're not ever going to be happy as long as they have to take care of somebody who does not want to heal somebody was very controlling they're not a good housewife they're not a good homemaker or husband you know they don't want to take care of their responsibilities they're not perfect they don't want to be perfect they're not trying to ascend they're not trying to heal Meanwhile, you, I used to be perfect, now I'm even better. You're ascending. You're on a level that's just out of this world compared to this person and even your divine counterpart because they've been stuck and they've been held back by this person who refuses to let them go, who wants to keep themselves attached to them, um, somebody who wants to be taken care of. Somebody was a liar. They could have said they wanted to uh, better themselves, they wanted to ascend, they wanted to heal. But someone lied. They didn't want to heal. They had no intention of healing. And someone's pissed. Because someone was wearing a disguise. Someone was wearing a mask the entire time. They were hiding who they really were. <clears throat> someone is lazy. Nap attack. So someone is tired. They're lazy. They could be watching someone on social media. Um, trying to compare themselves to a divine counterpart. Um, the person that they're attached to. Like say, okay, I'm going to use this as an example. Since, you know, I'm a, fem a female. So say this is a divine femme, okay, um, that somebody wants to go towards. Your divine masculine is attached to this karmic femme who does not want to let them go. They don't want to heal. They, this karmic femme is comparing themselves to the divine femme and they're watching this person and they're just tired. They're exhausted. They're lazy. They were hiding the fact that they are not anything like you are. Like I said, they're on the darker side of things, whether they're actually doing black magic or not. They don't have to be. I'm just using that as an example. I might as well exercise. I'm in a bad mood anyway. Meanwhile, you take care of yourself. Um, it's like your default is to take care of yourself because that's just how you're built. That's just how you're made internally. Like you are in your life's calling. You're working on building something. Um, you're always working on elevating. Even if you don't mean to, that's just your default. That's just your natural state. So like I said, you are complete opposite of this person. Somebody just wanted to be taken care of. Like I said, there's a karmic here that just wanted to be taken care of. I've got work on my face. You're always working. You're working hard. Whether you have, to, even if something doesn't look difficult, like you make something look easy. Okay. So you don't have to put forth a lot of effort. Something just comes naturally to you. And that's why your spirit irritates a lot of people's demons. Okay. That's why something is being put to a stop. Somebody wanted to stop this person 
um, your divine counterpart from coming towards you, from ascending to seeing who you are, to seeing who they are. But something has stopped, okay? Somebody wanted to be taken care of, and that shit, someone is tired of this. Someone is waking up to the fact that somebody just wants um, to be coddled. They don't want to heal. Like, someone is just frustrated. Your divine counterpart is really frustrated in this, and they're tired of this, and they just don't want to deal with it anymore. And they're in despair. Someone is in despair because someone was a thief. They robbed them of time. Um... You know, they they robbed them of their joy. You know, this is a thief. They stole something. It doesn't matter what this person stole. Someone is waking up and realizing they made a really bad choice by partnering up with this karmic because they want to start a new cycle with their divine counterpart who has already entered into a new cycle and they want to join their counterpart on their level. And someone is juggling finances, but they're innocent, they're pure you know, Snow White energy. Um, <clears throat> someone may be juggling finances, but they're pure, they're happy, they're content. And somebody just worked really hard to be a thief. Somebody didn't want to work hard. They would have rather stolen something than worked for it. Somebody just wanted to be taken care of. And the easiest way to do that is to take something that doesn't belong to them so they don't have to put forth the effort. Someone didn't want to work with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse because they wanted to be a thief. But you're the official person, the Hierophant. You are a true spiritualist. You could be a teacher, an advisor. Um, you know, you are the real deal. You're the real thing. Just because you don't advertise it doesn't mean you're not exactly what you are. Um, <clears throat> you're hiding in plain sight. And you never had to advertise who you are. There's an emotional situation um, Five of Cups, now near future energy. There's an emotional situation because someone is moving. You are going to be moving in with your divine counterpart, and someone is not going to be happy about this. Somebody was trying to keep it hidden that they were a thief, that they just were a slacker, that they were lazy, that they didn't want to work. Some sort of swift action, some sort of quick communication is coming in to this official person or by this um, official person. And I'm hearing, that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. That's just the way it is. <clears throat> you have a positive outcome. And there's going to be a celebration here. There's going to be a gathering, a get-together, a celebration, a re reason to celebrate. Positive outcome. And it came out again. So celebration, happy times, good times. The offer you've been waiting for is coming towards you. It's on its way. You're going to celebrate. You're going to be happy. You may have been waiting a long time for this happiness, but we have the Knight of Swords and the Reverse and the Tower moment. So someone brought a Tower moment upon themselves because they rushed in with lies. They were being deceptive. They were trying to hide the truth about who they are, what they are. Um, you know, the fact that they just were a thief. Somebody was just very deceptive, and they have to use lies. Somebody was trying to affect another person's peace by getting a group of people to attack someone with the Seven of Wands. So somebody rushed them with some sort of lies <clears throat> to cause someone to be attacked, but they were protected. They didn't see that somebody was protected from all their bullshit. <clears throat> So this was a karmic who was trying to attack a divine femme or masculine. It could have been the person that they were attached to that they were even trying to attack to keep them stuck, to keep them from seeing the truth, to keep them blinded. Uh, but somebody was protected, so it didn't matter even though somebody was doing this. Whatever seeds that someone planted, they're not growing, they're not manifesting, especially... Um, if they had to attack somebody else to get this money, these resources, these finances, somebody has done so much damage because of their childish behavior that someone just doesn't want to deal with them anymore. It's like they're exhausted. They could have lost a significant amount of money dealing with this person. Um, charges could have been filed against somebody. Somebody could have had to pay some money out. 
somebody's peace was like just being attacked constantly by what this karmic was doing and someone lost a lot of money because of this bullshit that this person was doing and this could have been your divine counterpart's karmic that was causing them to lose a lot of money whether it was you or your divine counterpart one of you guys was dealing with a karmic that caused a significant loss of pentacles because of whatever childish bullshit they were on they were not held in high honor. There was a financial imbalance that was created. I told you. I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but I, I'm hearing I told you so. So you could have warned your divine counterpart against this, even if you were not intending to hook up with this person. Uh, maybe you didn't even know that you were going to come into union with this person at one time. Maybe you knew, maybe you didn't know. But you could have warned this person, this is what's going to happen if you choose this path. And so I'm just hearing, I told you so, whether you are actually going to say this or whether you're just thinking it, that's the energy. I'm just hearing, I told you so. Somebody was warned not to fuck around and find out, but somebody couldn't stop thinking about something. Somebody wouldn't stop. They wouldn't stop daydreaming about something. They were faced with a decision with the Wheel of Fortune here and they made a bad decision. And this brought some sort of heartbreak regarding this jealous feminine energy, this karmic female, this queen of cups in the reverse. They were obsessed with something, with daydreaming about causing financial instability with somebody else and causing problems for them so they wouldn't go towards their divine counterpart. And they're very jealous, very, very jealous and hateful. I'm just getting hateful, confrontational. Meanwhile... <clears throat> someone's getting a new start, new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, okay? There's going to be a move, new house, new home, new job, just a new start altogether. Moving, traveling, your courage, your strength, your perseverance, it's, it's going to happen. Someone is definitely moving. It just keeps coming out over and over and over, the energy I'm picking up. Someone is going to be moving in with their divine counterpart, and someone was trying like hell to stop this from happening because they're partnered up with the wrong person. And someone is finally seeing the truth that they can't be connected to this person anymore. So someone could be getting kicked out of a house. There could be a divorce, a separation, a breaking up of um, somebody just tired of the bullshit of what this karma, this karmic is bringing, the karma that this karmic is bringing to them. As long as your divine counterpart stays attached to this person, they're never going to be happy. They're, they're finally getting the picture. Something's finally clicking. And I just heard click, click, boom. Yeah. There's a separation. The two of cups. This was not this person's two of cups, but they want them to be because they don't want to work. They don't want to heal. They want to be lazy. And they know this person is an upstanding person. So if this is, you know, a, a feminine that's connected to a masculine, um, they know that this person does the right thing. And so they'll stay in a situation longer than they need to just because that's who they are, because they're a good person. And so this, this karmic wanted to stay attached to this person just because they know that they'll be taken care of the longer they stay with this person. However, this karmic is a control freak and very agitated, agitating. Um, they were trying to place barriers on someone's path by affecting their financial stability. Like I already said, this is just confirmation when I split the deck. But someone is taking a moment to reflect and pause that you have options. Um, if this is a masculine that's connected to a karmic, they're realizing their divine femme or their divine counterpart, take it how it resonates, has options and they want to be one of them. They don't want to miss their opportunity of being with this person. And so they're going to have a decision to make. And ultimately it's going to result in a union and moving in together. <clears throat> it's in the cards. So that's the energy I'm getting. I mean, yeah. Somebody was only worried about their financial stability and they were obsessed with this. Somebody was obsessed and addicted to their own financial stability this was unrequited love somebody really didn't love another person they just wanted to stay attached to them because when they were attached to this person they know that they they knew that they would be taken care of financially meanwhile you have somebody here who's gifted and talented um you know with the eight of pentacles somebody really is truly connected and tapped in spiritually you know 
there's an unsuccessful partnership. Somebody got left out in the cold in hermit mode. So somebody has been alone in isolation because somebody um, doesn't want to, this is not a, a solid relationship. They may have offered them the Ace of Cups, but they're realizing that this person was evil, that they're dark. So this person is getting left out in the cold in the hermit. So someone is being left alone. So someone is going to be kicked to the curb here because they were evil. They were uncaring. This is just a very toxic relationship. Whoever this, um, you know, your divine counterpart is attached to this karmic. It's a very toxic, very, very toxic situation. And they're realizing all their problems is coming from being attached to this person. Yeah, there's a King of Pentacles here who's doing some sort of spying investigating here. They're looking into something and they're realizing that you are their divine counterpart and this person is just a gold digger and jealous. They're very jealous. They only care about money. Somebody was keeping secrets. They were trying to keep something hidden. And this is an emotional situation. So someone is trying to keep this emotional situation hidden. Your divine counterpart, if you are the divine femme, okay, and this is your divine counterpart, this masculine who's attached to this karmic female, they are keeping this hidden. They're not advertising this. They're keeping everything very quiet because they don't advertise their bullshit. They're not the kind of person who makes their personal business public, which is just all the more reason why... This person is very stable and, um, you know, they're working on, the, they protect their privacy, okay? And someone has money coming towards them, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is keeping their personal situation, their emotional bullshit that they're dealing with with this karmic hush-hush. You could have money coming towards you. If you're juggling finances or this person's juggling finances, there's some sort of money that's coming towards another person. <clears throat> so somebody could have thought you were a gold digger, but we have the emperor here and the high priestess here, and there's a union that's going to come together. This emperor, this masculine, is seeing that you are the real deal. You are a high priestess. I mean, you, you're not to just be fucked with. Like, you... Whether you say it or not, they're starting to see you for who you truly are. You're hidden in plain sight. And only those who deserve to see your worth will actually see your worth. You know, someone may be heavily burdened here with the Ten of Wands. And so money is coming towards you and that's going to alleviate these burdens. There's some sort of money or resources that is coming towards you or your divine counterpart that's going to alleviate these burdens that have been placed on you. There was a Queen of Wands here in the reverse, someone who was not a leader, someone who was not caring and compassionate, someone who was trying to hold the position of a high priestess, and they had no business being there. They could have actually cheated on your divine counterpart as well. Um, they could have been in their hoe energy. They rushed in with some sort of lie with a Knight of Swords. They could have lied about being disloyal. Um, memories, um, someone from the past. Um, somebody could have cheated on another person. There could have been a, some sort of infidelity with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, and this created a barrier because someone made a bad decision with somebody who was not the real deal. A Hierophant in the reverse, someone who was a false spiritualist. And they uh, involved someone in a third party. So there was a third party situation here. Um, okay, one thing I'm being led to say, okay, this is not for everybody, but in some cases, the jealous queen of cups here cheated on this masculine with another female. But like I said, that's not for everybody, but for some of y'all, um, <clears throat> this karmic that this masculine is attached to, this female actually cheated with another female, so... Do with that information whatever you will, okay? <laughs> and they lied about it.
So there's a feminine energy here that could have been bisexual. This Queen of Cups could have cheated with another female, possibly as a way to get back at this masculine. A bald spot is hard to cover up, and they're trying to cover this up. Somebody could also be going bald. The masculine could be bald as well. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be. But, um, yeah, this karmic female did something out of spite, and um, they were trying to keep that quiet. Someone's a false prophet, a false teacher. They're trying to cover that up, keep that hidden. They don't want anyone to know. Um, somebody was a booty call. Someone was in their lustful energy, and they're trying to cover that up. So somebody did something when they were in their lustful energy, and they want to keep that really quiet under wraps. Something is going to be happening in the next one to three months for some of you. For some of you, something is going to be happening in the next one to two weeks. You need to speak the truth in the reverse. So somebody needed to speak the truth. Instead of trying to cover something up, they're trying to keep the truth from being exposed. Someone lied about you, so someone lied. They lied about you or to you, and they need to speak the truth. Someone's getting some unexpected money or an inheritance. I'm telling you, someone has money coming towards them, okay? What is holding you back? So someone thought by withholding the truth and lying about someone or their divine counterpart that they would be able to hold someone back and keep them from going towards their divine counterpart. But that's just not what's going to happen. Someone did not have divine protection and they've been doing something possibly for the last 9 to 12 months to try to keep this person trapped. But, you know, you, you don't really know someone. They didn't really know who they were involved with. They didn't really know what this person was up to. If this is somebody who was on the dark, dark side of spirituality, this person was doing legit black spell work, love magic, um, spell, you know, legit hexing and cursing, not only on your divine counterpart, but on you. They were doing binding rituals. Someone is getting the inf... inf someone's going to be invited to something... They tried to unalive you for real. You're going to get an invite. Some of you. This is not for everybody. Somebody's going to get an invitation to somewhere. And the karmic is going to try to unalive you or your divine counterpart because something didn't work. Because they felt like they were feeling um, ignored or forgotten. So somebody could be getting an invitation um, for something, but they're trying to unalive you. So be careful about invitations, especially if this has to do with somebody that you were connected to in the past, like an ex or something. If this has to do with like a reconciliation in your divine counterpart, if your divine counterpart is one of your exes, that's not going to be the case for everybody. I'm just saying, I'm using this as an example. Say this your your divine counterpart is an ex and they ended up getting remarried hooking up with someone else hooking up with a karmic right if that karmic or your ex or somebody invites you somewhere be careful because someone is trying to unalive you because they feel like they're being ignored or forgotten and as long as you are still in the picture as long as this person is daydreaming about you or they're connected to you they know that this person wants to go towards you and they can't stay attached. This karmic cannot stay attached to your divine counterpart. And they've been watching you. Someone doesn't know they're being watched. This person was watching you. They felt like they were being ignored or forgotten. Um, they were trying to set you up. Marriage is like a Jurassic Park. Someone is married here and someone married a karmic. And they're trying to separate from this person. And this karmic is going to do everything in their power to stay attached to this person, even if it means trying to unalive a divine femme or masculine. Keep that in mind, all right? <clears throat> Somebody didn't help you when you needed them. This could even be your divine counterpart. You may have needed help, but they couldn't help you because they're attached to this person. And they've racked up some spiritual karmic debt because of this, whether they meant to or not. There's a debt that has to be paid. Okay, so someone wants to bury the hatchet because you have the luck of the Irish. You've healed, lick your wounds, and someone's playing with fire. Something is being made crystal clear. 
So these came out sideways. Now in your future energy, somebody does want to bury the hatchet with you. They want to heal something with you. They know they're playing with fire and something is being made crystal clear that as long as they stay attached to this karmic, they have fucked themselves. Their luck comes with being attached to their divine counterpart. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in the reverse. Someone is greedy, a bottomless pit, gold digger. Um, that's just the way it is. And someone is going broke, go for broke, as long as they're attached to this person. And someone is willing to do anything and everything to stay attached to your divine counterpart. This karmic, whether it's male or female, is willing to do whatever it takes to stay attached to this person, even if it means trying to unalive you in an attempted murder charge. I'm just saying it how it is. They are willing to do whatever it takes as long as they can keep this person and they don't go towards you. That's just, uh, you know. I read the cards, I read the energy, um, you know. And it doesn't have to be this specific scenario, but this is the energy I'm picking up. These are the examples I'm being led to say or use. So, you know, take it how it applies. A Pisces could be significant as well. Uh, a Virgo in November, A, B, C, or D. You know what, I'm just going to lay those out because I feel like those are all significant. I'm being led to lay those down, so. Someone wanted someone to be stuck between a rock and a hard place that so they, they couldn't go towards their divine masculine or feminine, but someone's just a dime a dozen and something was just about money, almighty dollar, that's all somebody cared about and now someone is fit to be tied because they know you're the big man on campus and they want to jump in with their divine counterpart but they're attached to this karmic and there's a grudge an axe to grind this karmic is holding a grudge um there could be a grudge between you and your divine counterpart something may need to be healed but this person wants to heal this with you they want to jump into this union but they have to deal with crazy here this is the dark before the dawn, and if the shoe fits, this is a match. This is your divine match. I can't help it. Don't get mad at me, and you can get in the comments and say, well, my divine counterpart should, wouldn't be married. They wouldn't leave someone for me. I'm not a homewrecker. That's not what the fuck I'm saying. What I'm saying is your divine counterpart's married to a karmic, and once they separate themselves from this person, they're going to come towards you, and they're waking up to the fact that this is toxic, this is not a good situation. If you don't believe in divorce, then I don't know what to tell you, but someone married their karmic, all right? And they have to separate from them before they can come towards you, and this karmic knows this. They know it, because even if they're on the opposite side of the spiritual spectrum than you, they're still tapped into a certain kind of energy, and they know a little bit. They may not know everything because they can't read your energy, but they know enough to know that this person wants to come towards you, even if they can't read your energy. Somehow they know about your divine counterpart's energy because they may not know how to protect their energy or protect themselves spiritually. So they may not have access to your information, but they have access to your divine counterpart's information and don't let that go over your head. They know what's going to happen, even though they can't get your information. They're not, they don't have access to your Akashic records. They can't get into your shit. They are tapping into your divine counterpart shit because they don't know how to protect themselves. That's how they know this information. Don't, that, don't take that lightly. I'm just the messenger. You know how to weather the storm because you are a high priestess, okay? You're already there. <laughs> you're already there someone was blind love is blind um you know you you're on your path you're on your mission someone was blind it's like i once was blind but now i see and and that's not a religious thing like this person was blind to all the shit that was going on maybe because they're not tapped into the spiritual aspect of it maybe they know a little bit um but not enough but they're waking up you know, that Evanescent song, Bring Me to Life, is what I'm hearing. Someone is waking up um, so that they can elevate to come up to your level, and that's why you're going to have a victory. Opposites attract. You reap what you sow. You know, um, this, may, this person may have viewed you as opposite at one time, but come to find out you're not as opposite as I mean, they thought you were. And you reap what you sow. You've sown good seeds. You get good seeds back. 
this person, your opposite, you know, this karmic has to reap what they've sown and they've sown a lot of bad shit, okay? By hexing and cursing and doing spell work on um, not only a divine union, but someone who has a high ranking spiritually and they done fucked up, okay? I mean, all I can say is they done fucked up. You're going to be happy as a clam, though. Uh, you know, the divine, you know. Someone is going to be really sad because somebody wants to work on their love with you. Your divine, their divine counterpart. Labor of love. So while someone is sad, someone else is going to be happy. Okay? Because someone was barking up the wrong tree and then I have Gemini here. So, someone lost control of a tricky situation, take the tiger by its tail with rumors, gossip, because somebody was trying to stop someone from being able to read between the lines. And someone is pissed. So, and then we have an Aries, no time like the present, Wednesday in reverse, blast from the past, and arrest. So, if someone is connected to someone from the past, someone is trying to get someone arrested, someone could have gotten arrested because somebody was trying to keep control over a person or a situation. This person, you could have been connected to them in the past, okay? Like I said, I used that example, and I was led to use that example, and it's been coming out, like, the energy, that's just what I'm picking up on. This could be somebody that you were in a connection with or married to in the past. There was a split up. You all went your separate ways. You could have married different people, ended up different relationships. You could be single, um, or separated from your karmic, you know, and you could be self-sufficient, independent, whatever, your divine counterpart's still attached to a karmic, or you both are, but there's a separation here, and one karmic, um, in this situation, this person's karmic, um, could have used, um, getting them arrested, money problems, stuff like that, they could have had money problems because they got arrested, so they could have, like, court fees, restitution, um, house arrest, something like that. So that could have been part of the reason there was a financial imbalance with this person and why there was not a separation. Um, but blast from the past, this could be somebody that you were connected to at one time, but this was a divine union, and it's going to merge back together. Um, for some of you, this is a new connection altogether. But I feel like that's not the case if you all are moving in together. Um, I feel like more so it's somebody that you already know or that you're connected to. So whether you were with them in the past or you're just connected to them now, this is somebody that you already know. Okay? So what goes around comes around. Someone is just yanking someone's chain. And you really are the boss. You really are um, the real deal. Someone else is just playing games. But, you know... Um, you are the real thing. All right. Let's close this out. Person, place, or thing. The letter Y could be significant. K. So, Kentucky. Someone could be from Kentucky. That could be significant. Someone's name could be Kai. O. Um, I, I just heard Ni Hao Kai Lan. So, children or young children could be significant. E. C. I don't know why, but David Allen Co. could be significant. C O E. Um, another E. Somebody could have a pet gecko. V. Colorado could be significant. L. Las Vegas could be significant. Cool. Someone's name could be Cole. C O L E R. I'll do three more. Another E. So I have three E's. E's very significant. Mm, that could be initial and the initial of a karmic P. And J. So someone's name could be P J. All right. I hope this helps. Have a good day.